Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is the Newbie Warrior and welcome back to my K-Pop Reaction channel. I post new K-Pop Reaction videos here almost every single day and today the insanity of new releases continues. This is Woods, uh, yeah, his album. Um, this will be my first time listening to a an album from Woods. This has seven tracks. I am not going to listen to Love Me Harder in this video because I already reacted to the MV. It is great. I highly recommend you check out my reaction if you want to hear what I think about that song. I'll link it in the description below. Uh, we're going to be listening to the other six songs on this uh, album. So, yeah. Uh, Lift Up, Accident, Noid, Waikiki. Uh, yeah, Waikiki. Featuring Cold, by the way, who is fantastic. Buck featuring Punchinello, who is fantastic. And then I believe Memories, they don't have them listed here. But when I looked on Spotify, I believe there's like 10 featured artists or something on that song. I don't know. Or no, maybe I was looking at the songwriters. Never mind. I don't think anybody's featured on that. I'm dumb. Um, anyway, so yeah, let's hop into Lift Up. Ooh. This is so I gotta keep fine down on that's a heavy intro. Oh, we're restarting this. I'm getting lifted from the bottom. I'm in love already with this. We get the subtle drums coming in now. Oh, this is a really good song. Ooh. Wow, that's so unique. Cool effects on the vocals. The sample work on this song is outrageous already. I'm sorry. This this bass especially that just came in now with the little flute. Oh, that's so cool. And obviously his vocals. That's that's what's crazy about Woods music is the production is so slick and so dope that that I'm forgetting to praise his voice, but obviously that's like the whole point. Like that's what makes it all work, right? Is how he sounds. But because this masterpiece of interesting sounds is around him, that I'm forgetting to mention it. That's crazy. <laughs> nice subtle piano hook. I know that was way in the background, but that note, though. Oh. Wow! 
Wow, we have like a chanting in the background too, like a yell. <laughs> Why are the vocals? Why is he like that? Listen to them in the background. I wish that that was a little bit more forward in the mix. Just selfishly. Like, like it wouldn't make the song better if it was forward in the mix. I just want to hear it clear. But listen to him in the freaking background of this freaking song. Ready? It, it's unbelievable. Okay. Uh. 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 That's unreal. That's unreal. That is unreal. This album is gonna be a treat, huh? I've never listened. I've never sat down and listened to a whole a whole album from him. Um, I've heard songs. People have recommended me songs, but. I don't have words like this is such an interesting soundscape it's almost a dark neo-futuristic like this would almost fit into a cyberpunk feel if you just turned up the uh if you added a few more like saw samples maybe a little bit of electric guitar this would be pure cyberpunk now i'm not saying that the song would be better with those things i'm just saying it's almost almost that neo-futuristic that dark neo-futuristic sound that is dope um but it's not quite there it's a little bit more melodic it's a little bit more upbeat than that um but it's it's right on that line and what he does vocally on this song even though it's in suppressed background vocals is unreal obviously he has the slick sexy kind of intimate for the main vocal the vocal that's like the melodic line that drives it really dope um yeah, I think I think uh, this album is going to be uh, just just a pure bliss to listen to. I think if if this first track and "Love Me Harder" are any indication, this is going to be a very pleasant album to listen to. That came in hard. This almost gives me a The Weeknd feel, um, which is just about the kindest possible thing I could say about a singer. <laughs> um, the Weeknd is one of my favorite artists of all human history, um, especially the trilogy. Um, if you're not familiar uh, with Abel, he's a, um, well, he's Canadian. I was going to say American, but he's a Canadian singer, songwriter. Um, he makes very dark atmospheric people call it alternative r&b um but he has an unreal voice and the production is always off-putting and and dark and and um super almost uncomfortable to listen to in some ways but in a very unique and good way and the vocal styling that i'm getting here is similar to that which is just like like i said it's probably the highest praise i can give to a vocalist <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, it's such a meaty, hearty drum, too. And those strings are super, they're almost screaming because they're super heavy vibrato. So the waveform on those strings is like, and it's in it. That's what I'm saying. It's this almost unsettling feeling, but it's good. The violin so vibrato. I think that's supposed to be a violin or violin ish. Ooh, big power chords. <laughs> oh, he's so good. Why have I not just listened to all of his albums, man? Why have I not just listened to all of his albums? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. This big, uh, like, power chords from these electric guitars, and then obviously he goes into this, this, uh, multi-step escalation of the vocals. Actual chills. He's going off again in the background! Wow. Man, that song hit me like a truck. That song, Lift Up is amazing. It's very, very good. It's incredible. Accident is a whole step beyond. Um, like I said, that it, it it's. I mean, this is alternative R and B. This this is that sound. Um, and the the execution here is flawless. <laughs> like actually flawless from from the songwriting to the way everything moves to the sample work to the obviously obviously um dark sleek vocal style it's it's so good it's so good <laughs> it's just i don't have other things to, i know i i probably should have more to say about accident but honestly a song like that on a first listen Hopefully you got from watching my face how I feel about it because, um, <laughs> because I don't, I don't have the words <laughs> in, in my vocabulary to really describe that after one listen. And sure, if I listen to it, you know, a hundred more times, which I very well might, um, maybe I could come up with some sort of comprehensive review and, and, and really steep in my thoughts and give descriptions of everything that I like about it. But to be honest with you, I, right now I'm just kind of speechless. So we're going to move on to Noid. Like I said, I will be skipping Love Me Harder because that was the title track. It's good. Uh, go check out my reaction to the MV. That'll be linked in the description. Okay. Oh no, I get tired of watching my cut again. What the hell? Not a common It's already it's already sleek and dark and sexy and electronic. Oh.
Oh. He has a really pretty head voice. I also keep forgetting that he's a rapper. Like, I know that, like, he actually was primarily rapper in Unique, a group he was in. I haven't listened to them, really. Um, but it, just people have told me that when I've heard songs from him in the past. So I always forget he's a rapper until I hear him rap, like, on the song with Flosick that he did. Like, I'm like, oh, right, he can do that. I just forget, because he's so good at singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yup, this is sexy as hell, and I love it. This song's a little bit more chill. It started with the apocalypse, but now we've come, to, we've calmed down a little bit. So good. Ah, what a pretty bridge. It's so mellow. Man, I could listen to his voice literally forever, I think. <laughs> Can he stop attacking me with those notes in the background? <laughs> Just randomly we get ah! like dude dude stop i'm already dead from the first two songs where you kept i'm already dead from accident accident was just that the whole time it was out outrageous stop though it's so good stop Nice, nice, like, riding vibes here. Chill. Nice, subtle touches of the guitar here. There's a, um, like an electric guitar on my left ear and only an acoustic in my right. That's interesting. Piano resolution. Wow. Wow. Noid. Um, yeah, that song's dope too. Like, it's just... He's so versatile, man. He's so versatile. Like, that song was like the, oh right, he can rap. I forgot that <laughs> song. Um... And it was all, like, chill style. You know, it was laid-back hip-hop. But it, it was definitely leaning more towards that sound. Um, smooth flows, you know. Um, I know he can go off to, and, and speed flow, too. Because, like I said, I've heard song the song with him and Flosick, and he just goes ham. Um, but, yeah, th this is dope. This is dope. Noid is dope. Another Incredibles. Is there going to be a song that I skip listening to this album? No, not so far. <laughs> not so far and based on how much i'm liking everything so far i don't think that there will be at all to be honest with you like i would be very surprised but i guess we'll see um what kiki featuring cold so i'm guessing we're gonna go super chill vibes with this song just based on the fact that it's called what kiki and cold is on it but we'll see maybe not Oh, 
천천정비야자수원마다스개판한숨대신들이킬래야오케이 so noid Yup, we already got we already got like rap rap. Okay, so Noid Noid feels like a transition point for me. So the first three, well, the first two songs are a little bit darker even than Love Me Harder, but the first three songs are more of uh, like I said, leaning into that alternative R and B, leaning into that darker sound. Whereas then Noid to me leans into that, but then it kind of pushes out of it a little bit towards a more melodic, chill R and tradition, more traditional R and B hip hop. Um, chill hip hop vibes, and now it sounds like Wakiki's gonna just follow that progression. So we have kind of like this progression through genres, and I'm curious if that'll continue. <laughs> Nice smooth flow. The production just changed completely. So, here, about 30 seconds ago, the sounds were very full and very far back, especially these main synths. And then as we, it's almost like you're leaning forward and the speakers are behind you now. It's kind of how it's, the, the, it's mixed. It's very interesting. So like, right here, transition starts. It's like the, the bass is moving behind you. Kind of hollows out. Yeah, yeah. This is dope, too. Nice flow is here, too. Shout out Cold one time. This is so good, man. Oh, that stutter on the synths. Ooh. Leading into just the acoustic guitar now. Nice harmonies. Man, the chill vibes on this song are outrageous. Ah, uh, this is smooth as hell. Oh. Mmm, you just let the drum beat ride out. Let's go. Nice symbol. That's dope. That's dope. That is dope. 
It's not as good as Accident, in my opinion, but, I like, Accident's unreal. Anyway, the whole album's good. Um, the cold feature was really nice. It was smooth. It worked really well. It was integrated really well. Um, obviously, we got Woods rapping as well. Um, the vocals, like I said, continuing the smooth trajectory. If I had to bet, Buck is going to continue that kind of trend, um, especially with a Punchinello feature. It just makes sense. Um, and then maybe Memories will be something sentimental or different completely. Maybe it'll swing back up. Maybe it'll go somewhere completely different we haven't heard yet. I'm not sure about where Memories is going. But I have a feeling Buck is going to kind of continue that feel. Um, Waikiki is, is so good. Like I said, continuing to listen to every song on this album. They're all good. Okay, Buck. What's the matter with you? Money isn't everything. You think so? Life is short. Life is short. Okay, nope. We're going for uh, hard hip hop with uh, with quirky samples, apparently. What's the matter with you? Money isn't everything. You think so? Life is short. Life is short. And life's a race. Life's a race. Whip, 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 whip. Your time is tick tock. Life is short. Life is short. And life's a race. And life's a race. Whip, 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 whip. Your time is tick tock. Life is short. This kind of race. You don't need a lot of talk about it. Okay. Yup. 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 Harder, more traditional hip hop, but with weird samples. Weird, 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 almost meme samples. Um, love this little weird like synth that comes in. Um, obviously he has like the sexy whisper delivery. Yup. Let's go. This is super different from the rest of the album so far. Okay, that fake clap is problematic. I like literally everything except the super meme fake clap. The fake clap is becoming irritating. I'm sorry, Woods. This might be a skip for me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, if you had any other percussion instead of that fake clap, I would love this. But this this fake clap is bothering me. The delivery has been really fun. The other samples have all been really fun, though. Okay, stop. All right, move back. Yep, sorry, I, I was speaking over the word. We gotta, we gotta respect the feature, chat. Chat, whatever, I always say that now. Gotta respect the feature! I need to I need to put more Punchinello on my channel Dude, so dope Ah, that flow switch Even within this feature I like how meme this is. Life is short. Life is short. And life's a race. Life's a race. Whip, 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 whip. Your time is tick tock. Life is short. Life is short. And life's a race. Life's a race. Whip, 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 whip. Your time is tick tock. That song's so meme -y. Okay, so, I'm gonna be honest, um, that's by far my least favorite, but, 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 I do love it as a meme. I think this is an incredible meme song, 
the the entire production from the burp, burp, to the boom 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 kind of flow of everything um you have this um life is short <laughs> life's a race <laughs> it's like it's I don't even know what that hook is supposed to mean. I guess money does matter is kind of like the, the hook. I don't know. Um, <laughs> life short, life's a race, I guess. You gotta get your whip. Like, I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, the actual delivery of the rap verses was great, both from Woods and from Punchinello. Dope. It was dope. <laughs> it was just dope. The rapping on this was very good. Um, the production was very meme in a way that I almost love if it weren't for the really bad fake clap sample. The really bad, aggressive, excuse me, fake clap that ran throughout a lot of the song, especially the hook, gives me a headache and it, and it upsets me. So this will be the only song I skip on the album. With the reservation being, if fake clap sounds don't bother you, like a lot of people that I talk to, they're like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Um, if that doesn't bother you, then I would say, yeah, but listen to that song. That song is just a fun meme song. Unfortunately, that fake clap kind of ruins it for me. But without it, I mean, this would be an incredible meme. And with actual fire rapping on it. Um, but yeah, I, I, the, the feature was dope, by the way. Both of his features, having Cold and Punchinello on this is sick. I love them both. Um, and this, they both killed it. Okay. Memories, last song on the album. I'm curious tonally what on earth you do after Buck. Slow song. Ballad? Maybe? I mean, we know Woods can sing, so... Ballad could be good. Okay. Okay. Nice use of the electric guitar, though. That's special, actually. Nice, pretty, breathy vocals. Ooh, we're gonna lean in that electric guitar even more. Let's go. Nostalgic electric guitar. Sad electric guitar. Really pretty. Instrumentally, it, it's um, it's nice. It's using the violin. It's using the guitars. It's using the piano. Simple drum kit. And it's just about the vocals and kind of the lonely, sad feel. Interesting ending. Or bridge? Maybe this is a bridge. Obviously his voice is super pretty. That 
That's pretty. That's pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> Let the guitar... Some... A couple of power chords in there. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Well... Freaking executed. Um... Man. You want to talk about versatility. This man. <laughs> this man. If we can call him that. Um... This album has, in my opinion, five distinct genres on it, um, out of seven tracks. I would say Accident and Lift Up are both, um, very kind of, uh, like I said, alternative R&B, um, almost a dark electro pop, but leaning more towards that dark alternative R&B sound that I love, 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 love. Um, Love Me Harder is a little bit poppier. In my opinion, I would say Love Me Harder is a pop song, but with elements of that darker R&B sound. Um, it, it's definitely not as dark or as experimental as something like Accident, though, for sure. But it, but it, I would say it's almost, it's a pop song with elements of what you hear from the first two songs. Then we transition. Noid has just a tiny sprinkling of that dark R&B at the very beginning. And then we get more into this laid back more traditional r&b kind of sexy club sound then waikiki doubles down on that and moves from like just the r&b towards almost a laid back hip-hop keeping the sexy club feel buck then takes that and goes you know what screw it let's make a really meme hip-hop song with some sick verses on it where people absolutely pop off was well, people I mean, it is people, but where Woods can absolutely pop off and the feature Punchinello gets to pop off, great. Once again, if I didn't hate that clap so aggressively, and maybe that fake clap won't annoy me as much as normal, but I do have a headache today, probably from not sleep, probably from only sleeping for like four hours and then recording for, I don't know, since I woke up for five hours straight now, basically. Um, yeah. This, but, but the fake clap does bother me. But if I didn't have that fake clap, I would honestly unironically play Buck as like a meme song. It's just a fun song to listen to, um, which is a completely different genre from Memories, which is obviously a ballad, almost like a, like a, like an 80s style power ballad with that electric guitar wailing. Um, but yeah, versatility, the vocal performance, the rap performance, um, man, some of the high notes on this album are unreal as far as listening to a first album for a first time from an artist holy crap i'm impressed he's so dope in so many ways anyway thank you so much for watching this video uh let me know oh let's do a ranking real quick okay favorite song on the album without a question accident accident is unreal it almost sounds like a weekend song in a lot of ways which makes me happy then the lift up which is very close to it like i said Love that genre of music, so it's it's my second favorite. Then probably No... Then it gets harder, because I like Love Me Harder a lot. Then I'm going to say Noid. Um, then I'm going to say Love Me Harder. Then Waikiki. Then Memories. Then Buck. Once again, if it wasn't for the fake clap, Buck may have been my favorite song, or one of my favorite songs on the album, but it's okay. It's still listenable. It's just my least favorite. Um, But yeah, let me know in the comments section how you feel about this album, um, what was your first experience listening to a Woods album like? Because this is my first experience, and hopefully you can tell from my face just how, like, how impressed I am. Um, but yeah, also tell me what are your favorite songs, what do you agree with me on, what do you disagree with me on? Let's have some discussion, give me your ranking of tracks if you want to. Um, thank you so much for watching, my name is the Newbie Warrior, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, and please remember to stay newbie. Thank you so much to everyone who's chosen to support me over on Patreon, with special appreciation going out to Daniel Reigns, CJ, Georgia Young, Lucky7Gen, Bob, and CJ Monasterial.